Hey, back segment tonight, as we told you last night, University of Wisconsin instructor Kevin Barrett has called President Bush a murderer, saying he orchestrated 9-11 without providing a shred of evidence of that charge. Despite that defamation, Barrett teaching a course on Islam this semester at the University of Wisconsin. The only sanction against him is in order to stop making public statements. Joining us now from Madison is James Fetzer, a recent retired professor from the University of Minnesota Duluth who supports Barrett. You know, I'm getting a little tired of Barrett and Ward Churchill and other college professors who hate their country and who bring this hatred um, in, onto a campus full of impressionable students. Am I wrong to be offended and angry about that, sir? Well, you, you are wrong, Bill, because you haven't studied the case. We've created an organization consisting of experts and scholars, pilots, aeronautical engineers, mechanical engineers, structural engineers, civil engineers, physicists. We've been examining what the government's been telling us, and frankly, Bill, it's a fantasy. None of the major claims made by the government can be sustained. We've been looking at this from every point of view. The government right, has look. a story it wants to sell us. We're not buying it. Okay, you don't have to buy anything. You're American. You want to be a nut, you can be a nut. And you are a nut. Because in order for any conspiracy of this magnitude to take place, thousands of Americans would have to buy into it, would have to know about it, and would have to keep their mouth shut about it. That's never going to happen. You're like the guys who think that the space aliens kidnapped Elvis or something like that. That's, the, that's where you are, in my opinion. So your opinion is that Bush murdered everybody on 9-11 to seize control and make uh, him the dictator of America, whatever the crazy thing it is. In my opinion is, you're nuts. We're both entitled to our opinion, okay? So you're entitled and I'm entitled. And we'll let the folks decide. Okay. Well, hold it, hold it. But now you have a guy, Barrett, who's in a classroom. And we, we had the students on last night. And believe me, the students don't know very much. And here's Barrett. And here's Ward Churchill. And they're bringing their crazy theories in, explaining this, that, and the other thing, and whatever conclusions you guys have reached. Um, and the students are there absorbing this. And I'm saying this is grossly irresponsible because it's based on nothing. If you had any evidence, sir, you would be on the front page of the New York Times in a heartbeat. There's nothing that the hate Bush media would like more than get a hold of anything you have. And you don't have anything. You can't get into San Francisco Chronicle or the National Enquirer or anywhere because you don't have anything other than a harebrained theory. And you know it. We have hundreds of studies, we have documents, we have records, well, we have Well, why can't you get on the front page Any, of the New anyone, York Times? Bill, anyone, Bill, who has even looked at the collapse of Building 7 understands I, it came I, down by that, a controlled demolition. It wasn't hit by I had guys no in here who said, I had guys in here who said, you're full of, you know what? Why can't you get this on the front page of the Boston Globe? or the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, or the Minneapolis Star-Tribune, papers that despise the Bush administration. Why can't you get it on the front page of those papers? The, the press and the media are too much dominated by the federal government and federal regulations, oh, Bill. I, you know that. I, oh, sure. Any, the New York Times is dominated and afraid of the federal government when every single day they rip Bush's throat out. Come on, that doesn't make any Bernstein, sense. In 1977, Carl Bernstein published an article in the Rolling Stone in which he explained that he'd been told by officials of the CIA that their greatest successes had been with, a, with CBS, with Time Life, and with the New York Times bill. The situation today is much All worse. Right. Anyone who wants to know the truth should go to st911.org, our website, Scholars for 9-11 Truth, and they'll find it in spades, Bill. I hope I they go to your go dopey there. website, and I hope they read your stuff. So I just want to, this is how crazy you guys are, and you guys are, really. Number one, you hate your country, and number two, you're a loon. Here's, how you, here, here's your scenario. Bush, the Bush administration are murderers. The president's a murderer, okay? He killed 3,000 Americans because he wanted to increase his power and, sustain, and suspend all civil liberties. And in order to do that, he co-opted a whole bunch of intelligence people and military people. They all got in a little conspiracy. They killed 3,000 Americans. And the press is covering it up because they're afraid of the federal government. Come on. I mean, this... Why don't you just say that you have a Martian living in your bedroom, sir? Why don't you just say that and parade a puppet Bill, out we, or something? We found the government account is provably false on every major respect. Yeah. You appear to be among those who can't handle the truth, Bill. No, I know. You've got to look yeah. at our findings. We've conducted objective send me, scientific send studies. Me your, we send have me your no best funding. Shot. We have no money. We're doing this because we believe in our country. And as a former Marine Corps officer, Bill, I resent your implication. We're interested in the truth and not being deceived. You hate you your country. The American government. Look, 
You hate we your country. You're seekers. accusing you're accusing a man of murder, the president of the United States, of murder without any evidence. If you had the evidence, somebody somewhere would take the evidence. Why don't you bring the evidence over to France? Why don't you give it to the French media or the Canadian media or the CBC or BBC? Are they controlled by the American uh, federal government? Are they afraid? Why don't you take it there? See what they'll do with it, huh? Bill, you're obviously not going to give me a chance to talk about any of these things. No, I'm so not because you're go to a nut. Our website, ST. All right, we heard your website. If you want the truth, fine. Scholars for nine. You can't. Truth. You can't get any legitimate news organization in the world to put your stuff anywhere because it's all bogus. And I don't care whether you're a Marine officer. Bill. You're disgracing the Marine Corps by what you're doing. You hate your country. You accuse a man of a murder of being a murderer, President Bush. And you know, if I were Bush, I'd take a look at you, Professor. I'd definitely take a look at you, just like Sammy al Arian. I'd put the FBI on you and the Nutty Barrett and find out what the hell you guys are up to, bottom line. Thanks for being we here. We care enough about yeah, our, I know our fellow care. citizens who died, Bill Riley, to alone. find out why they died and how they died. You, have disgraced, the you have disgraced those people by accusing the president of being a murderer. Plenty Scholars more ahead tonight. as the factor moves along this evening.